Today, math isn't that important, right? After all, if you have access to a cell phone, computer, or tablet, which most of us almost always do, you have access to a calculator, so who really needs math? Is there a good reason to learn all those formulas and practice all of those problems? Actually, yes, because there are some jobs that require you to do math in your head, or rather, on the fly. As you've probably guessed, being a pilot is one of them. Today, pilots usually get a lot of help from computers, but that doesn't mean they get off easy. They still have to know their math. In fact, if you don't understand why a plane flies, the math of aerodynamics, you'll never even get a pilot's license. But that's not all it takes to fly a plane. Sometimes, pilots even need to do math before takeoff. They might have to figure out how much weight the engine can handle versus how much they're carrying, or if they'll need a longer runway since heavier planes need more space for takeoff and landing. And once they're in the air, pilots use nautical miles to measure flying distances. Each knot is about 1.15 miles, and they might have to convert knots to regular miles to let passengers know when they'll arrive. Of course, pilots have instruments telling them where they are and what their heading is, but they still have to calculate things like how long a turn will take, which can be different depending on what kind of plane they're in. See, for a normal plane, every second the plane is turning is equal to 3 degrees. So to turn 15 degrees to the left, a pilot needs to turn for 5 seconds. But turn for 5 seconds in a fast plane, like this F-22 fighter, and the plane would turn twice as much since it's more maneuverable. To do that 15 degree turn, the pilot would have to turn for only 2.5 seconds. Aren't you impressed? I did that calculation in my head, all on my own. So is math important? Definitely. True today, you'll probably have computers to help, but if you want to do a good job, you still need to know your stuff.